In this video, I'll be talking about Core Maths, Edexcel Maths in Context Level 3 Certificate. The Core Maths qualification offers students a progression from GCSE Mathematics without the need to study A-level Mathematics. Its purpose is to provide a sound basis for the mathematical demands that students will face at university and within employment across a broad range of academic, professional and technical fields. At Brineys, you'll be required to study core maths if you are also studying an A-level subject that involves some element of mathematics, for example, psychology, business studies and geography, but this does not include A-level maths. If required to take core maths, this will replace the extended project qualification, otherwise known as EPQ, and it is measured as a level three qualification and is accredited by Ofqual. The key differences with core maths as opposed to EPQ is that core maths is teacher led um, over four hours a fortnight and you'll have two examinations at the end of year 13. Core maths is also recognised by UCAS and many higher educational establishments. We've had many students have their university offer reduced based on their core maths result. In most cases, this has been a reduction of one grade overall. Core maths draws from and develops GCSE content areas in number, algebra, probability and statistics, with GCSE foundation tier content being assumed knowledge. You'll study four content strands selected on the basis of their relevance and application to a wide range of areas of study and employment. So we've got application of statistics, which enables learners to use data to understand the world and readiness for study in many disciplines. They've got the understanding of probability, which is a life, vital life skill with relevance to science, engineering, computer science, business and finance, gaming and everyday life. We've got linear programming, which develops learners ability to use algebra and graphs to model real world contexts. And finally, sequences and growth, which extends learners financial math skills and introduces applications of this topic to other real world phenomena. You'll be assessed uh, by two externally assessed exams at the very end, but throughout the course we'll have topic tests after every two units to ensure that you've comprehensive knowledge of previous topics from GCSE and any new content that you've been introduced to in class. Um, important to note is that either of these two exams that you do have at the end of year 13 can cover all content areas, um, adult real world context based tasks throughout, authentic extracts and data from a range of sources, um, and a range of question types and a mix of short and longer response questions across both papers. Calculators are included and may be used in both papers and formula sheets are also provided. If we take a closer look at the two examination papers that you'll take at the end of year 13. Paper one, as you can see, is 60 marks and paper two is 80 marks. So there is more weighting towards paper two, the applications paper. This is because of paper one, we have a pre-release source booklet that we receive approximately April time before the exam in May, whereby we sort of scrutinise and think about possible questions that they may ask in the actual exam itself. If we take a close look at the assessment objectives, as you can see, AO2 and AO3 type questions um, are more heavily weighted in the actual exam. But looking close to AO1, you'll notice the mention of technology skills, um, and these include use of a scientific calculator, and no one understands how to use the spreadsheet. So entering data and formulae, um, formulae based in the four operations, for example, or the standard formula, interpreting graphs and generating from spreadsheet data. And lastly, um, the resources. So this is a textbook um, that links into um, the course itself. As you can see, we are um, using the Edexcel course for our core maths. Um, this isn't essential to buy. Um, we have PowerPoints based on this um, textbook already available uh, for students to look at. And we use these in lessons as well.